Sometimes people want creamier things, and sometimes people oh. want like a. Is it good? Did you get that? I almost heard. Oh, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> And I have Evan here because he wants to get to like ice cream. I never had any like good ice cream before in my life. I just don't like sweet stuff. I'm losing <laughs> it right now. Did he just say I don't like sweet things? Everybody watching is judging you hard. We're gonna be going to some of the highest rated ice cream places in LA, according to Yelp. So yeah, I am an ice cream fanatic. I like all the ice cream stores because I have a favorite at each store. So it's like, okay, I'm feeling like Cap'n Crunch ice cream today. What kind of Cap'n Crunch ice cream? I am your ice cream bible. Yeah. We are now at our first location, Milk Ice Cream Parlor. They're very famous for their ice cream macarons. Macarons? Is that how you pronounce it? Macarons? It's not a ooh, it's like a macaron. Macarons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I have some street cred with macarons. Another famous piece, red velvet cookies, fruity pebble cookies. You can create an ice cream sandwich. One of my favorite Yo. ice creams are the Thai tea. Thai tea is great. I always get the banana split. Banana split? I mean, come on, there's like Nutella, coffee toffee, blood orange sorbet, <laughs> mint and chip, lime sorbet, Thai tea, you name it. And you want to go for the banana split. <laughs> Do you own this place? I know, I can work here. I want to try the sandwich. Like, okay. you don't recommend. Your face tells me. Oh, because think about it. It's like, would you want Thai tea with like fruity pebbles? And like, you know what I mean? You have to be smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I like mind boggling? I like mint too. I love mint and chip, but like just honesty, it just tastes like toothpaste. It might be a little weird, but I like the taste of toothpaste. So red velvet and red velvet. Uh -huh. Isn't that too overpowering? No. Mm. I guess not. The texture. Yeah. If you like chewy cookies, mm. He said he don't like sweets. <laughs> it's not that sweet. It's not that sweet. That's why it's so good. Mm, this is my absolute favorite. I mean, who doesn't like Fruity Pebbles? If you don't like Fruity Pebbles, I question you. Kendrick Lamar likes Fruity Pebbles. Well, I'm not a Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I like this better. Too much flavor going on here. For me. Mm. When you're feeling extra, and then when you want just like the original. When you want the OG stuff. <laughs> you should get this. This size is great. I was never imagining Thai tea with an ice cream, as an what? ice cream. You know, always, you always drink it as mm -hmm. a tea. I would put it on the inside. Like, what do you mean? Like, the, the bottom, because it's flat. Come on. <laughs> We're here at Somi Somi. In K-Town, represent. Yeah. My first time here. Do you like soft serves? Yes, I do. So you can choose whether you want it on Mopang. Mm -hmm. I don't think viewers want know what Pungopang is. B-rolls. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, there we I go. I like how you <laughs> And you can pick your fillings? Yeah. Oh my god. You can, you can choose custard, red bean, custard, red bean, and Nutella. Nutella. This is like the prettiest sprinkles. <laughs> this is like, it looks like Gucci. <laughs> it's so good. I ate half of it while we were setting back down. Want to try matcha? Yes. That's really good. Yeah. It's pretty deep, huh? But it's not like too mm -hmm. heavy where it's the tea and it makes your like throat kind of hurt. I think for black sesame, it's like organ organic is what I heard. Mm. It's not like artificial black oh, sesame. It's a real cool. like, yeah. I think black sesame has a specific following. People like it's either you like, like it, it or, or you, yeah, don't. you don't. And people who like it search yeah. for really good places with it. Try the filling. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So Guilty pleasure, for sure. I have my makeup artist, she's like, no, <laughs> eat pretty. We are finally at Salt and Straw on Lunch Mine. I bring my bandmates here all the time. Not only do they have really, really fancy and sophisticatedly crafted flavors, they have a monthly flavor. Ooh. What I love about going to Salt and Straw is that when you come out, your hair smells like waffle cone. <laughs> you feel very, very like cute. I am ready uh -huh. to feel cute. And, and After, like a waffle cone? Yeah. That's valid. Yeah. Can I try? Do you want to try honey lavender as well? That's one of like their signature yeah. flavors. Doesn't it taste like a really, really good hand soap? <laughs> 
I got the birthday cake and blackberries. Which is a July Which special. Which is like a July special. There is a poll at the end of the year so that they can bring back certain flavors. Oh, really? I went hard on that gingerbread cookie dough and it never came back. If y'all are watching, help me vote for this gingerbread cookie dough back for the summer. Sup support that flavor. <laughs> this is like the fun part of it and you really become a fan. So I got honey lavender. Which is a signature flavor here. I've never tasted anything like, anything like this. This tastes exactly like how it smells. If that makes sense. Which is great. Yeah, which is great. Texture and the flavor and the temperature, everything is just like. Y'all get in this on camera, he's a fan. <laughs> I think that was it. There wasn't really anybody that was just like, all right, we gotta take you to some ice cream store. Uh, okay. Ice cream parlors, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Have him try some bunch of stuff. Be experimental. Yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with okay. ice cream. Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.